G'day everyone, I'm Jazza, and today we're going to be looking at artificial intelligence with art. Now we've done this before, I've, I've got a bit of a fascination with how technology might have the potential to overtake us one day. <laughs> now since doing those, the, the photo generator website has been taken down because there have been too many visitors to that website. That artificial intelligence turns out was less intelligent, I don't know, it wasn't wasn't going to bring on the the art apocalypse. I mean, clearly. <laughs> and this is an example of where it has worked really well and it's really uncanny that artificial intelligence turned this line work into this portrait. It's it's kind of creepy but super cool. And then there's this Nvidia research one where you can create super super simple like rough concepts. Now, prepare to be underwhelmed or overwhelmed as this turns into check button in terms and condition. Oh, this is how they really get you. <laughs> All right, go on. You've stolen my soul now. Hey! That's pretty trippy. It's also pretty bad at the same time. I'll pick a different one. Pick the sunset one. There you go. Cool. So it's, you know, it's not bad. It does, it does a lot as far as transforming my original sketch into using these reference images and aesthetics into an actual picture. Now, this is the very beginning of AI art, but Demon in the Closet on Twitter pointed out the next evolution. First of all, thank you for pointing this out to me. Second of all, if you see stuff like this, please tweet me. Please put it on the Jazza subreddit. I see this stuff. And if it particularly tickles my fancy, I'll tickle you back. That sounds, no. Too much, I'm sorry. Deep face jury. So in theory, this is the next evolution. And as you know, I like to dabble with my new art mediums with the Jazza avatar. So let's just do that. Now in theory, if my Jazza avatar is actually a good representation of me, the end result of what I illustrate here, it's going as I go. Can I like, <laughs> that's really distracting. So I'm gonna put a sticky note over it, not sure I want to see that yet, but I want a pleasant surprise and I want you to have a pleasant surprise too. So we're going to put a digital sticky note over that too. There you go. So we're both going to get a ple hopefully pleasant surprise or we'll be terrified at the horrifying future that artificial intelligence is ushering in. I'm drawing like a probably slightly more realistic jazz avatar than I might, basically because I'm following the proportions that have been laid out in front of me. All right, we ready? This is the reveal of who artificial intelligence would assume my jazz avatar drawing is actually of. You ready? One, two, three. Let's just say I have mixed feelings. <laughs> There's a lot to learn. Let's dive in deeper. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for a bit of a Moana look. Let's put my stickers back on. I wanna get, see if I can get a pleasant surprise out of this one. You too. There we go. Da, 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 find me. No one knows. Let it go. No, that's the other move. <laughs> I want to see if this program can give me an islander or detect the age or do anything that looks remotely like Moana or if it's prone to go for a specific type or if it's going to go for a specific age in general. But I feel I feel like if I showed this to the layperson who has seen Moana I might be like oh it's, it's sort of, it sort of looks like Moana. No one hey do you know Lin-Manuel Miranda the guy who wrote Hamilton wrote the music to Moana and I've been listening to Hamilton non-stop for the last Five months, ain't that right, Gareth? A lot. <laughs> yes. Non-stop. Constantly. Non-stop, he says. It's burned into my brain. Did you know you just made a Hamilton reference? What's that? Non-stop! Alright. What do... Now I've got Hamilton in my head. <laughs> Should we play Hamilton, Gareth? No! <laughs> this is a terrible one, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That'll do. That's as far as I'm going. We're gonna put we're gonna do the reveal. Three, two, wow oh my god. Alright, this was a, I'd say this was a failure. <laughs> I'm I'm drawing like someone who's trying to turn a drawing into a person, but maybe I just need to draw more abstract or suggestive. I need to make suggestive drawings. Not that kind of suggestive, but more like allusions to, you get what I'm saying. How about we do someone really thin and then someone larger. Again, keeping it really simple. I'm just gonna go quite, quite simple and cartoon. This is a really straightforward illustration. There's not a lot there to be confused about. I don't know if it does anything with this bottom bit here, but there you go, he's got a little shirt on. Er error. All right, by the numbers, I'm gonna draw Donald Trump. <laughs> 
He's got the pouty lips. It's like, this is the greatest artificial intelligence of all time. That looks more like Vladimir Putin than Donald Trump. All right, let's start again. This is gone down the wrong path. Clearly this artificial intelligence has some biases. They're mostly models, they're all pouting. Maybe that's what it's getting its references from, is like just magazine cutouts, stock images of people eating salad and laughing. Maybe that's good for my reference. Let's see if we can bring one of their salad ladies in with our sketch. Oh salad, you so funny. Oh my god, I love it when salad's Joke. They just tickled my neck all the way down. <laughs> Here, keep you. I'll give. I want. A, I want your salad face, not your salad fingers. <laughs> References. I'm keeping it really simple because it doesn't want me to be complicated. I'm really trying hard to play the AI's game here. Come on, show me salad. Hey, success! That's a salad lady. You would be so happy with a salad in your hands right now. It worked. <laughs> I haven't played around with these sliders, so let's muck around. What are component confidences? Let's make the nose more confident. She hasn't got a very confident nose. Error. God damn it. Do you know what? They've got an example. I'm going to clear this. Thank you, salad lady, for it attendance and help. So this is what it wants me to do. It wants me to do, hey, that looks like me. <laughs> if I click on this, is it gonna give me me? Oh my God. Oh my God. Now that is creepy. Now obviously it didn't do that, uh, but it did give me an error, which is uh, a great example <laughs> of what this program does. I'm gonna reload the program. We'll start fresh with an example, the same one. Success, so, okay, so, it really doesn't like thinking too much in a row. And apparently this is what I what I look like if I have black hair. Bit of a Backstreet Boy. Oh my God. We are going to make the AI Backstreet Boys. So here's my Backstreet Boys poster foundation. We're gonna generate five heads just from the examples because in theory, these examples should be representative of what the program wants to make anyway. They're ideal, artificially intelligent representations of people. And in this case, it sort of works perfectly anyway because the Backstreet Boys were basically machine made. And look at them. So we're just gonna use their examples to see what this Backstreet Boy looks like. I sort of see, I sort of see where it got that from. But again, I would have gone more with the example sketch. I don't know, he looks more like Either way, that's our first Backstreet Boy. All right, who are, we, who are we going over? You can go over this guy. It's crazy when you shrink it like that, because I don't know, I feel like in, in the actual website, like you can see all the little artifacts of where it's not sharp, it's not made an exact decision, but actually at a distance, I'm like, all right, that's a dude. He could have a name. Could be Joey. Actually, no, I take it back. He's more of a Mick. He's totally Mick. Oh, whoops, actually, they wrote, oh, okay. This guy. Apparently this guy's name's Lorem Ipsum. I sort of want to stick to that, Lorem. But we don't know what he looks like yet, so let's figure it out. Which one's going to be Lorem? He looked like a Lorem. He's sort of cheeky. A little bit of a wink there. Is it going to give us a wink? Surely if it, this is an example, that it's going to come up with something that'll wink. They have the confidence to know it'll... Oh, okay. It's almost like a wink. Except he's changed his mind halfway. I feel like they're all going to have black hair and slightly foreboding faces. Like this is more of a mafia than a boy's band. <laughs> Give me some long hair. Oh, here we go. There you go. Fresh, fresh face lad. This guy looks like the young guy. So I'll put, I'll put his head over this guy. Got two more examples to pull from. I, I just, I want to see what this ends up like. Just pure curiosity. Again, it's another model. It's funny because all of the backings, like behind the, the people we end up getting, they almost look like celebrities being photoed on the red carpet, right? You're a bit Biebery. Let's bring you up. It's sort of Biebery. Does it become more Biebery if I do this? Oh, do, do, oh. No, didn't even help that I sang. Anyway, this is uh, the artificial intelligence's boy band. Mix the ladies man. Lorem's a bit of an indecisive wink up, but he wants to be a ladies man. Casey is the heart Rob. I guess that's another word for ladies' men. But all, all the Backstreet Boys are ladies' men's. That's what they're marketed for. Pippin just got into high school and uh, Max does everything to the max. That is, that's his catchphrase. These are the AI boys. And the, ca and the catchphrase is where AI, AI, because it's like where I, isn't that what people, isn't that, isn't that, that's what Lorem's saying. Where I, 
Like, all right. I want to get the sliders to work. Give me that at least. Come on. Switch to one of your female examples. Give me this one. And oh, she's she's a salad. In. Did you see that? We've lost we've lost what we just had. That last face that snuck past us. Cheeky bloody AI trying to get away with its secrets. That was a salad eater. Oh my god. Salad. I don't know why I'm so amplified about this? Because I'm figuring it out. It knows it. It's toying with me now. <laughs> Switch to a different example. It only wants to do, yeah, it only wants to do long hair for women, which I think is unfair. If I pick this bald person and select female, it just does your hair pulled back. I think that's, I think there's a lot to, for you to learn, artificial intelligence, if you are that, which you're obviously not. I've leaned on your examples too much. I feel like I have enough of an idea as to what you're meant to do or how you're meant to draw to get a face. To, to work with that. So I'll draw the way you've sort of hinted towards. You're defaulting to sort of longish, straightish hair. So if I if I just allude to some waves on the outer edges here, what are you gonna do with that, huh? What are you gonna do? Slightly wavier. This is where it's sort of interesting. What if I give you a bit of wavy there and a bit of wavy there? What are you gonna do with that, huh? What are you gonna do? Not a lot. It's struggle. All right, component confidences. Let's see if you can have some confident eyes. Please say success and do something. It said success, I don't know what it did. I'm gonna tweak it up a little more. Left eye, I'm making her left eye confident. <gasps> that's a more confident eye. Let's do, let's keep going. Now that's a confident left eye. <laughs> if I move the right one up to the same level, is that gonna look like balance? Sorta, ish. What is it? Comp Com component confidences. What does that even mean? Oh, is it that it's forcing it to stick to my illustration? Ah. Oh, boom. Bruh. Yeah, but that's what it's doing. Okay, interesting. It's like, how confident are you in the drawing of your components for us to stick to that? So with that knowledge, with the experience we've had and the knowledge we have of how this artificial intelligence works, let's finish off with one male, one female, and we're going to, first of all, keep the results as a surprise, we'll put our sticky notes back on, and I'm gonna guess at what I think it will be most likely to produce a successful result with. No idea if I'm gonna be right, it's gonna be fun to try. First things first, everything is average. There is no, we can't go outside of boundaries, we can't get too expressive, but I wanna draw in such a way that I can ramp up the confidences a bit and it won't freak out. And it tends to seem to want hair that's sort of out of the way of the face. I think that's what it must be referencing or how it's understanding things. In which case, I wanna see if I can get a little bit of a side part, but overall go for just like generic dude. All right, what have we got? Reveal time and all right, generic dude. I didn't get the hair wavy, but otherwise generic, Generic dude sort of works. Now let's slowly ramp up our confidences. You ready? What is that? Okay, that's a little, that's sort of worked. Every time I ramp up the confidences thing, it looks like they've had a bunch more plastic surgeries. Interesting. Now let's switch over. I've reloaded the page. Same thing. Let's put our, let's put our little sticky notes back over. Keep, keep the results a surprise. I don't know if, if I have like a scowl if they're gonna draw that. Let's try. I feel like that should be a clear reference, right? So moving off the stickies and okay, it's shifting around with, okay, oh, I don't know if that has really limited references that it's pulling from. <laughs> it keeps switching back to other things that it's sort of shown me, but in different mixes. But it's, oh, come on. I thought it was gonna, I was just gonna compliment the end result. Why do you keep switching up on me? I think I've broken the AI. <laughs> Maybe if I force it to be super confident, stick to what I drew. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, that sort of worked. That worked. Wow. Okay. All right. I'll hand it to you, AI. You're not the best in the world and you're not there yet, but I, I feel like you're getting closer. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is artificial intelligence showing any signs of intelligence yet? Or are we a long way off? Are you terrified about the future and what the artistic overlords will bring and demand? Or are you excited? Do you think that there will be some genuine tools and opportunities provided through artificial intelligence? How would it apply to art? I wanna see your thoughts on how any of this technology, when it's refined, would be useful or terrifying in the future. I had some fun with you guys here today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I saw, as soon as I saw the tweet from Demon in the Closet, I'm like, okay, yep. 
you've got to play with that. So keep your eye out for AI stuff for me to muck around with in future and, and slowly we will document the journey towards our inevitable creative destruction. There are more videos over there you're bound to enjoy. If you enjoyed this one, for example, the last time I played with AI, it was a good time and the next time will be a good time. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe for more fun with art and creativity and exploring some of the futures of what that might look like. Otherwise, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you later.